When you invade the ocean with plastic and the fish eat the plastic and then you eat the fish, it's real simple. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize you're doing something really bad to the ocean. So we affect the planet in many different ways. The temperature is one way. The way we're invading our food sources is another way. There's many ways we, we can affect the planet. So we want to be able to connect people through social media and through activities like cleanups, activities like movie nights, uh, activities like school programs where they go in and talk to kids about the environment. And we want to continue to raise awareness because the more people know, then they can affect change through the way they vote and through the way they take care of their environment every day. One Piece Each works with many different organizations. We've worked with folks like Forty Ocean. We've worked with the local uh, Chamber of Commerce, and we've worked with the local Keep America Beautiful affiliates. So whoever's out there, if they like our mission and they want us to help them get some buckets from their local Home Depot or some garbage bags, we're willing to work with anybody. You can simply reach us at info at onepieceeach.org and let us know what we can do to help. Anybody can participate in this project. We have young kids participating, we have old people participating. So if people want to get involved with the program and they contacted us, we're happy to set them up with going to their local Home Depot and then they'll either donate a couple of certificates for people to purchase buckets, trash bags, and latex gloves for the cleanup, or sometimes they'll just provide the materials. They can take those supplies, do their cleanup in their local area, take pictures, and then post to social media with the hashtag one piece each. So there are many different ways to help. We have people that like to host movie nights. So if you have a local movie theater that wants to show an environmental film and you want to invite people to it and do a one piece each movie night, that's a great way to get involved. We have people that lead cleanups. We have a young man named Cash Daniels from Knoxville, Tennessee, and he leads river cleanups once a month. He's nine years old. Uh, we have some people that like to do uh, recycling tutorials and do some types of classes that teach people how to be more responsible and use less waste. When we began a couple years ago, we started with a simple hashtag cleanup campaign where we asked people to do a cleanup wherever they were at and simply post to our page with the hashtag one piece each. We were surprised to get cleanups on that first one from South Africa, Hawaii, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And so that's what kind of rolled us out and made us realize, hey, this is something special social media. This is a way for us to grab people's attention all over the planet and to get them to activate and do something for the planet. We have cleanup groups in Austria. We have cleanup groups in Thailand. You can clean up anywhere. The entire planet is a mess. So depending on where you're located geographically, if you want to do a cleanup in your area, maybe we can get you supplies and help you out if you're in the U.S. But if you're outside the U.S., people source it themselves. So. No matter where you're at, if you're not happy with the way people are treating your environment and you want to step up and do something for it, we'll help you organize any way we can. Um, all you really need is a bucket and some garbage bags to throw the stuff away. You can do a beach cleanup or a river cleanup or a cleanup anywhere. If we don't take care of the environment now, there's not going to be anything there for us to enjoy in the future. So we're trying to band people together and work together all as one. What if everybody picked up one piece each? What a difference that can make.